this serious issue. Uh, Mr. Qureshi, you're absolutely right. I was in Razmak in South Waziristan and I was taken to one such facility by the Pakistani soldiers themselves. And that facility was to train young suicide bombers between the ages of 12 to 15. Now, these suicide bombers under the, the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan were being trained to go bomb facilities. Most of these uh, children were given drugs at the last minute before they went to explode the vest that they were wearing. And if they didn't do it themselves, then the Taliban would do it. And the Pakistani soldiers explained to me how a lot of these kids fall victims to it. They usually come from very poor families. The families give it to these organizations, madrasas, and then they are used, obviously, they are abused. And then beyond that, uh, they uh, are made to commit suicide, literally. And these are the suicide bombers. Lynn, uh, Lynn McDonald joins me from London. Uh, she spent years in Afghanistan. Lynn, the Taliban on one end, the exploitative Afghanistan Security Forces establishment on the other. Where do we see the moral standpoint here? Lynn, can you hear me? I was asking, we see on one end... All right, Mr. Qureshi, let me come back to you there. Uh, Lynn uh, will join us shortly once we have our audio in. But looking at the whole spectrum there, you know, Taliban on one side, uh, the Afghan security forces on the other, or other religious groups that are also involved in abusing these children. Where is the moral standpoint? Like, how do these people go back to sleep every single day? I can't believe it. Uh, two things are very clear. The Taliban regime in the time when they were ruling Afghanistan, most parts of Afghanistan, and the current government of Afghanistan, they both are against Bachabazi and Playboy. But unfortunately, uh, Taliban, mostly TTP, uh, Pakistani Taliban, are uh, using uh, young children and boys uh, for suicide attacks and many other uh, purposes. Uh, another issue which is mostly um, present in some documentaries uh, relating to Afghanistan's Bachabazi uh, is uh, they are calling this a cultural issue, but I'm uh, opposing this uh, idea due to this. In Afghanistan, Bachabazi is not a tradition. It is not a culture. Some warlords in, in some parts of Afghanistan, they are doing this issue against the law. In Islamic Sharia, as well as in Afghanistan's criminal law, these uh, issues are uh, strongly abandoned, and uh, they, they, they are controversially opposing these issues. So in Afghanistan, this is not issue in, 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 nor it is a, a, a cultural issue but in some parts where the warlords are doing this they are doing by force the public opinion is strongly opposing this bad issue in secret shape absolutely the religion prohibits um, any such contact uh, and uh, it's punishable by death uh, I understand that uh, do we have Lynn on the line with us now okay we don't uh, let me come back to you, Mr. Qureshi, again. What is the answer? How do we move forward? What can be done on a social level and what can be done on a government level to clamp down on this? Uh, there are two responsibilities for us. One is a regional and international responsibility for us, uh, which is not only the responsibility of the Afghan government and the Afghanistan's nation. This is the responsibility of the countries of the region, mostly the international responsibility, to fight against the terrorism, to fight against the militants, and to fight against the uh, terrorist issues which are continuous in the region, mostly uh, harming Afghanistan and some, some other countries, where the children are uh, involved in madrasas and they are used and abused uh, for uh, for uh, terror purposes, uh, mostly for the suicide attacks. The second responsibility is uh, on the shoulders of the Afghan government and the Afghan nation, which is uh, the issue of Bachabazi, which is uh, uh, day by day increasing uh, since the time of the Soviet invasion in Afghanistan. This is the responsibility of the Afghan government 
to fight this issue strongly uh, among the police for forces and um, uh, to catch those warlords who are doing these issues and mostly in the parts where the government is controlling. The second responsibility is of the Afghanistan civil societies, media and uh, tribal and religious elders. And the mullahs and the real religious elders uh, who are working as a religious elders in masjids and uh, madrasas in Afghanistan, they should fight against this uh, uh, very big country. Uh, which is uh, against the youth and uh, young children in Afghanistan. Uh, surely, previously, I have mentioned that the Afghanistan's public opinion is not, allowed, uh, not allowing these issues. It is strongly opposing uh, Bachabazi and Playboy. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this show tonight. This is something that we, as a human race, need to be ashamed of, whether it happens.